Hi guys, today I just thought I would answer some questions that I've received over the past videos and explain some stuff. On yesterday's video where I made this garden border here I got a lot of questions. One was why I um, peeled the bark. The reason for that is um, the wood um, then dries out more, obviously where it's in contact with the soil it'll rot, but that's the whole point that it's in contact with the soil and preventing the grass and weeds to grow into the mulch. But um, if you take away the bark, the wood dries and keeps longer. If you take a piece of birch wood especially, but um, also other woods that um, don't do so well outside, and you take, uh, you just cut it off, foot length maybe, 30 centimeters, and you leave it out, um, it'll rot after just one summer season here in our climate. If you take the bark away, um, it'll last much longer. Then um, a lot of people found it uh, very satisfying and cool how I um, peeled the bark off. And that only goes this easy in the springtime because um, now is when all the sap is being pulled into the tree so much and, and the, it, it's really soft. The whole bark is really soft so if you do it too early or too late it doesn't go as easy. Um, somebody was wondering like why we didn't use a chainsaw yesterday to cut this tree down and really power tools are helpful if you do a lot of work and, and heavy work but in that case it was a small tree I had to do two cuts um, it would have taken me maybe uh, 10 minutes quicker five to ten minutes quicker with the chainsaw but then I would have still needed to go inside change of pans gotten the chainsaw filled it out with gas made sure it was sharp and by the time I would have done all of that I would have already been done there and done the first cut and besides I got a good workout so um, we planted some potatoes here um, in on the garden and covered them with wood chips and now we have this border that will last us four or five years I would say shared on Instagram a little bit about our little baby geese. Um, two years ago we hatched in our hatching machine, worked really well. This year I let the geese themselves do the work and we got seven cuties. Check this out. Chickens need 21 days to hatch. These geese need a roughly 30 days. Then you have the time where they collect their eggs as well, so you can pretty much wait 40 days till you have some geese after they start laying, at least I would say. Now these geese, they just blow me away by their amazing family dynamics. You have the male, this white one here. Um, he is just the most alert goose ever. Then you have the mother that is standing right there among the chicks but you have these other two um, that consider this these chicks um, their family as well so they're all taking care of these baby geese it's the cutest thing and they are super good at it so cute how this little one is eating grass already one thing that is absolutely fascinating to me is that um, to raise up geese uh, without a mom is very very hard. You would actually also think that these are water birds but um, you gotta keep these little baby geese dry for uh, the time that until they are fully feathered and what amazes me is uh, when we put one of these heating lamps with these geese that um, they sit under them so much and they get become such softies and here out in nature I mean these geese take them out here and they get to eat and they get to be on the fresh air today is a thunderstormy day we've had a few thunderstorms and um, then they go inside and get to be under their mother and they get to be under their mother after this time but right now these geese are just hanging out here and get to be on the fresh air and it's maybe um, 18 degrees outside right now maybe close to 20 the big white one here I plan on taking this one as my guard goose here tomorrow um, it's been four days since I started rotational grazing with the cattle 
and then the chickens are gonna go out on that pasture behind them 92 hours after the um, cows and then they are gonna have this white guard goose walk with them you see um, how he's guarding that was my wife that was just coming there and he is showing off oh look at these rebels they're out of the fence and the parents are going crazy look at that I guess parenting isn't that easy for geese either it's always greener on the other side of the fence I wonder who's the bad sibling who's the bad example and there's the one that's tattletailing saying how bad the siblings are behaving now they see me now it's I <laughs> time to walk through the fence well let me show our cattle an update there and how May is doing our calf Barbie and Q are doing really well they are growing they're also preparing the ground here for me for my next garden project hey Barbie and Q doing well yep they're doing well and they're realizing their limits borders <laughs> here behind me this big area um, is the last two three days um, where they are right now that's the fourth day tomorrow it'll be, have been 92 hours so um, you see how short the grass is um, that's where the chickens are gonna go there are so many benefits of that that I even haven't mentioned yet um, you know the short grass here is perfect for the chickens they don't like the tall grass plus um, snakes don't like to be on short grass either um, they like to be hidden in tall grass so they won't be as many snakes and issues for the chickens in that sense so um, they're gonna go on here and um, I moved the cows just about an hour ago to the next spot now here you can see the activity on the cow manure um, a lot of flies there were some beetles going in there already and they're actually gonna lay their eggs there and then that is gonna take exactly these four days about then that's right before they hatch and that's when I want to put the chickens there the earthworms haven't really come in there yet we want to keep the earthworms um, beetles that are really beneficial that you see crawl right there um, we don't want the chickens to eat them either they you know will have mostly been um, done with their chop by them but um, we want the chickens to spread these out and they are gonna go for these and here you can just see how nicely mowed the grass is and um, they were hungry when I moved them right here is the fence line and here they're gonna be now see where the cow is back there that's the end of this section and um, they're gonna mow this down just the same way until tomorrow three o'clock and um, it's really nice fresh grass and there is May Somebody was asking also um, if there are problems with flies laying their eggs, you know, in this long fur of these highland cattle. Um, I have talked to the experienced farmer where we bought a few of our cows and where we rented the bull, and he said that um, the only time that is a problem is when you have calves that are born um, midsummer about. Or early summer and they can't reach yet to their back legs they have neither horns nor can they reach with the tongue then sometimes um, you got to pay attention to that that there are flies that can um, lay the eggs there and um, they can then kind of like you know eat them up under their fur 
and you obviously don't want that but otherwise um, that is never an issue really with these cattle now down there you have Lizzie she's one of the cows that's gonna calf very soon as well uh, she is uh, very big and also a first-time calfer beautiful beautiful cow her horns are not typical though they look more like a motorcycle um, handle <laughs> and there you have Bella um, she will also give birth very soon she is um, my oldest and ex most experienced cow and she is also ready to pop almost now I've answered a few questions for you guys um, been very busy but it's been a awesome few last days beautiful weather um, just been out lots of time um, done a lot of things just so good for the soul to finally have some sunlight and warmth and um, also want to encourage you again to check out our um, vlog on Vimeo where we post occasional bonus videos and uh, check out our Facebook Instagram subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll see you soon have a good weekend guys bye bye